So I speak a lot about Javoy, the house of Javoy on the channel, but many of you probably do not know that Javoy also has a sister company called Jeroboam. Fragrances are like this. They come in 30 ml bottles and they're extra the parfum concentration. So very high concentrated perfume. 30 ml is meaning easier to carry around. They're lightweight and things like that. So they have a new fragrance called Floro, which launched late last year, but it's just now making its way out here in uh, retail in the stores. And I'm doing a review for Floro today in this video. Plus I'm doing a ranking of the entire collection of 12 Jeroboam fragrances in this video. I also have a discount code over at ZGO Perfumery and you can use that on various brands in the store. Not all brands but definitely works on Jeroboam and also Javoy and I'll let you know all about this coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yesterday I'm talking about Floro from the house of Jeroboam. I first discovered Jeroboam in 2015 or 2016 of uh, January, somewhere around there. And I picked up three of their fragrances, Insulo, Mixado, and Oriento. Those are here. I'm going to talk about them. But since then, I've been a fan of this house, although I don't speak about them as much as I speak about Jer uh, Javoy. But I do enjoy this house because they do have some great fragrances. And it looks like Floral is, is also definitely a, a, a winner. Um, it's a clean fragrance and floral and lightly fruity as well. So I'll let you know about floral plus how the fragrances rank in this collection. And then of course the discount code if you're interested in picking up any of these fragrances from Javoy or Jeroboam. Of course this is a Jeroboam video. The discount code over at ZGO Perfumery is Perfume Guy. Before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And if you wanna go check out the fragrances over at ZGO Perfumery. I have a link in the info box. You can go uh, see what they have. Uh, of course, as I said, it applies to Jeroboam and Javoy. It's a 15% discount code perfume guy. It does not apply on all brands. So check with the store uh, and uh, see which fragrance uh, brands it applies on and which ones it does not apply on. So Floro is a 2021 launch. It's considered a fruity floral woody fragrance. The price for all the fragrances are 30 ml $125 and these are all available at ZGO Perfumery. Perfumer on this uh, fragrance is Vanina Muracchiole or Muracchiole and she's on all the fragrances for this particular house and I really do like her fragrances. I really do enjoy them. She's also done a few fragrances over at Jovoy and I like those ones as well. I think she's a great perfumer. She does know how to do some really great smelling fragrances. So Floro features notes of floral notes, red and green apple apples, pineapple, white musk, jasmine, sandalwood, cedar, and dry woods. I've been talking about apples lately, haven't I? This one's definitely uh, apple-y. And here it is once again, uh, it's clean. It's very, very clean and musky. And it's definitely floral. But for me, this particular fragrance does not really make the flowers stand out. Uh, it doesn't come off like I'm wearing tuberose, I'm wearing jasmine, I'm wearing, you know, magnolia or gardenia or lily of the valley. It's blended in a way that you experience flowers, but I can't really like really experience jasmine. I can't really experience tuberose and things like that. So it's very, very floral and also clean. Uh, it has a kind of a laundry clean experience but also fruity and once again we've got the apples here and they claim that there's red and green apples i'm getting more green apples with this one i have that kind of tart experience or um, smell in here that i think it comes more from green apples rather than red apples at least red to me goes sweeter and even though there's sweetness here i'm experiencing that crisp i'm experiencing the crispness from the green apples with this one you know i forgot to mention there's also pineapple in this uh fragrance there there is that pineapple note and I feel like pineapple uh, 
kind of does sort of hint at uh, something like Aventus, but I would say this is not that smoky. It doesn't have like a smokiness to it. It's more about the flowers with the fruitiness of the pineapple in the background. And again, it's kind of tart and sweet at the same time, but for me, I'm getting tartness from this one. I'm getting an unripened pineapple where it does have tartness, but there's of course the fruitiness here. The fragrance is also overly musky. There's muskiness about it, but it's a clean musk. It's definitely white musk, but it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It's flowers, and this is probably now three or four floral fragrances from this house so they, they do do flowers quite a bit and it's definitely great fragrance to wear i feel like this has great concentration and intensity but it's a fresh fragrance in that it wears fresh because all the notes are very very fresh and uh, you know we've got all the musk and the fruits and um the floral notes and things like that. So it is a very fresh experience. So I feel like this particular fragrance would be perfect for the heat because it has great longevity and it's also extra de parfum, but it's not like a screamer. So the way it wears, it's definitely very, very fresh and it has this kind of like a clean, fresh experience with the fruits and of course the flowers. There's definitely woods in the dry down as well. So, you know, it's definitely a great release. It's definitely not my favorite of the bunch and I have my favorites in this collection and you'll find out where this one ends up. But if you are enjoying or into floral fragrances, you'll find out how it is and perhaps this will become your favorite. But I feel like this is definitely perfect, really, really perfect for someone that likes clean fragrances, musky fragrances, floral and fruity fragrances, and of course, woody fragrances. So Floro is the uh, fragrance I'm reviewing for you today and I'll let you know where it ends up in the countdown. So moving on to the countdown, as I said, there's 12 total fragrances in the Jeroboam collection and as I said I discovered them in 2015 and I, I discovered them with five fragrances I believe. This is one of them but I did not buy this one early on. I bought this much later. This is probably uh, the fragrance that actually goes into the making of the other fragrances. It's called Origino. It was launched in 2015 and it's Woody Floral Musk. At least that's what I was told at Javoy Boutique where I bought my initial three fragrances. They told me the original is the original musk. You can use it to layer the other fragrances and also it's featured in the fragrances. Maybe I misunderstood, but I feel, feel like that's what they're doing here. It's definitely a musky fragrance once again and it's also a woody floral musk but for me there's no fruits in this one like the last one and this one also has kind of like a herbal aromatic juniper note in here as well so it's juniper sandalwood white musk bergamot nutmeg and pink pepper so it's definitely fresh and spicy and of course aromatic and woody and of course it's got the musky touches and a little citrus not too much there's a little bit of a citrusy touch and of course it does get powdery as well so i've ranked this at number 12 because for me, it's come kind of like a layering tool, so I can use it on its own to have a kind of a clean, woody, aromatic experience, floral perhaps, and then also I can use it to boost up my uh, fragrances in this collection. So Origino obviously means original. I think that's what it means. Anyway, that's number 12. So number 11 is a fragrance I did review on the channel. It's called Hoto, this one right here. And this one, once again, is a floral fragrance. This is a fragrance that was launched in 2015. So I think what was the collection was Hoto, Origino, Mixado, Oriento, and Insulo. Those are the five fragrances they, that, that the brand launched with. And then I bought not these two fragrances, but the other three I mentioned. But Hoto is a floral woody fragrance and also fruity. Uh, as well. So it's got the flowers, it's got the woods, and it's got some fruitiness. But it features tuberose, white musk, pineapple, bergamot, spices, and rose. So it's a definitely a clean, musky, tuberose and pineapple combo. You experience the pineapple touches. It's sweet, but once again, it's not overly ripe pineapple where it gets really heavily sweet. So it's got a kind of like light tart fruitiness contrasted with the sweetness from the tuberose. So there's definitely a sweet experience here, but it's not a really, really sweet experience, uh, like overly sweet. But you know, I always say when I wear this one, it smells like laundry, like it's clean, it's fresh, it's clean, and it's definitely, it has some light, light like animalic touches from the tuberose but it's a it's a gorgeous fragrance it's definitely leaning feminine but i do get that kind of laundry like experience with this one i don't know maybe it's my nose playing tricks on me but i, I get this like freshly laundered with a laundry detergent kind of laundry experience. That's the kind of fragrance uh, it is to me. Hoto is at number 11. So next up at number 10 we're going to the fragrance Boha. 
This is it right here. This was launched in 2018. I would call this a floral fragrance. And now this one's definitely over the top floral. And it's got the green apples once again. And it seems like green apples, as I said, is popping up. So definitely this brand does feature apples or fruits in various fragrances. But to me, this is the most floral fragrance in the collection. At least that's what I get. It has a major floral present. But also, once again, it's clean and musky. And it has this ozonic, uh, watery kind of effect in here as well. So it goes powdery from the violet leaves and it gets lightly fruity as well. It's really, really great fragrance. Uh, I think on its own, it smells really, really great. It's very, very fresh and floral and musky and ozonic, but it has ended up here because I do prefer the other fragrances a little more than this particular fragrance. Either way, Boha is at number 10. So one of the fragrances I initially bought when this brand just launched at Javoy is Mixado, this one right here. This is a 2015 launch. It's considered a woody fragrance. This is definitely a woody experience. And to me, this one features notes of white musk, guyac wood, labdanum, saffron, geranium, patchouli, vanilla, and cedar. So it's basically lots of woods and amber. And there's some spices in there. The saffron is really nice. It's aromatic. It's very, very lightly leathery. The geranium has this kind of like minty slash rosy aromatic quality. Then of course, we've got patchouli, some vanilla to add some sweetness and more woods. So to me, this is the woodiest fragrance of all in the collection because it focuses on lots of woods. And it also kind of leans uh, masculine as well. Woody fragrances definitely lean masculine, whereas Boha is uh, leaning feminine. Uh, Mixado, on the other hand, is leaning masculine. But all the fragrances are unisex. You smell, you like, you wear, you know? So Mixado is at number nine. So next up at number eight, it's Ligno, launched in 2019. And Ligno is a fragrance that I actually reviewed. Uh, there are a few fragrances I've reviewed from this house, full reviews. So you can go catch my review of this one. This, to me, is an amber woody fragrance. And the star note in this is patchouli. But this is definitely a great smelling patchouli, but animalic leaning. So you do experience animalic touches here. So there's castorium here, there's ambergris. So these two notes, along with the patchouli, you've got this earthy chocolatiness contrasted with that ambergris and castorium definitely adds an animalic layer to the fragrance. So you've got to like fragrances that feature animalic notes. I personally don't think it's overwhelming, but some people that are not used to animalic fragrances might think so. Along with the patchouli, ambergris, and castorium, there's ambergris brocks in here, labdanum, musk, orris, pine, and bergamot. It's a unique, you know, combination of notes, but you know, it gets musky, it's get, it gets animalic, but the patchouli, once again, is the star. And to me, this one kind of smells like a distant relative to Balenciaga's Por Homme, an animalic uh, kind of a, a, you know, a relative of a Balenciaga uh, Homme. Um, Por Homme? I think it's Por Homme. So if you like Balenciaga's Por Homme, you're looking for an alternative, you like an animalic, you might want to check out Ligno at number eight. At number seven, it's Floro, which I just reviewed. So that is what uh, number seven is. It's landed here. I do like its cleanness. And I think out of all the flowers, this one definitely is the one that smells really, really grounding to me because it's clean, it's fresh, and it's 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 like very, very welcoming kind of a smell. So I've put that one here at number seven, Floro at number seven. So in uh, 2020, Jeroboam launched two fragrances in different colors, whereas all the fragrances come in this kind of blackish, brownish looking, well, color bottles. Number six is Gozo in this orange bottle. So this came out in 2020. It's considered a woody spicy fragrance. And to me, this color has a lot of meaning with this fragrance. To me, it smells like candy with patchouli and head shop. Like if you ever gone to a head shop, uh, bought incense and things like that, and there's like the incense sticks and all the, you know, whatever you see there along with um, the candy, it's kind of like a combination of all these smells to me. There's a definitely like a candy-like experience here uh, contrasted with the patchouli. Once again, it's patchouli and I love patchouli. And this one smells like the psychedelic 60s or 70s and things like that to me because the, the patchouli is overwhelming. But this features loads of patchouli with white musk, ambroxan, violet leaves, saffron, tuberose, cedar, geranium. So the violet leaves has a kind of a ozonic touch I always say it's got a watery experience and it's glossy so there's something like a glossy candy sugar hard candied kind of a experience here that I'm getting like a fruitiness and when I see the orange bottle kind of like comes into effect kind of a thing but it's really a nice fragrance uh, very very patchouli forward 
you know, uh, musky, and then also this uh, kind of violet leaves with the ozonic touches. So Gozo is at number six. Now number five might be a special fragrance only available at certain locations. And this is another fragrance that launched in uh, 2020. And this is uh, in the white bottle. This is Unu. This is a floral fragrance once again, but it's overly musky where it's got this very, very sexiness about it. So it's musk. It's almost like a deer musk, kind of a musky experience with white flowers. So uh, there's jasmine here. There's a, also, you know, kind of tropical yellow flowers of ylang ylang, but it's a really, really beautiful and very, very sexy musky experience. Loads of sandalwood here, musk, white jasmine, ylang ylang, plum, bergamot, pineapple, pink pepper. There's a pineapple again. And then this one, the plum comes in as well. I don't find the plum to be overly strong. I think pineapple is a little stronger, but it's a clean one, but it's got the kind of like, in the, in the background, it, it does have this like deer musk kind of a smell. So very, very sexy. So this Jeroboam Unu at number five. And that one, as I said, might be a little challenging to get. I think it's a special limited edition fragrance that was created for, for Selfridges. Uh, and I, I don't know uh, if it's still that, but look for that. Uh, and I like the whole, you know, orange and uh, white bottles uh, that they've done with these two fragrances. So at number four, it's one of the fragrances I purchased in 2015 from the Javoy Boutique in Paris. It's Oriento. To me, I always thought that this had a, a oud in the, the notes, but when I looked up the notes, it does not really list the oud, but I feel like I smell oud in here. This is considered an amber floral fragrance, and I can totally see that. It's lots of rose, though, with saffron. There's patchouli, sandalwood, white musk, styrax, apple, lemon, ylang ylang. These are some of the more stronger fragrances. The more complex, the more ambery notes or in fragrances in this collection have the most longevity. The fresh ones, they do last, uh, but the w more beefy ones are the more, you know, ambery, kind of warm, spicy kind of experiences because they, um, those are the kind of notes they are, and especially since these are extrait de parfum, highly concentrated oil, that's why they have them in these 30 ml bottles because they are extrait. But I have seen now they have 100 ml bottles too. I haven't seen them in uh, person. But this has a, a great combination of notes. It's definitely very, very ambery, uh, and it does get uh, uh, warm and spicy. And this one also features some apple notes, so it does have a little bit of a fruity undertone, but for me, it's mostly about the rose sap from patchouli and sandalwood, and I feel like there's a little bit of oud in here as well. Oriento at number four. And then number three, I recently featured in an apple fragrances video because this one's very apple-y. This is Vespero, launched in 2017. It's so good. And I did mention that this is kind of like a distant, like paying tribute or a distant relative to something like Aventus because this is leather with lots of apples and there's musk in here, there's grapefruit, there's amber woods, there's patchouli, geranium, and bergamot. So the leather contrasted with the apples kind of acts like that kind of Aventus-like smell. But in this case, they're using apples, not lemons or pineapple. So it's a unique twist on that. And it has a smoky touch, uh, you know, the whole uh, batch, you know, variations with uh, the Aventus that a lot of people go uh, crazy over figuring out which particular batch to get. So this is the smokier batch because I do get a smokiness uh, about this one. But I like the whole crust, the crispy, crunchy um, apple note in this particular fragrance. And then one last thing before I uh, go to the next fragrance. This does also remind me of vetiver. Like, I, I get the leather, but I feel like there's the, a vetiver-like experience in here as well, along with the apples. So Vespero at number three. At number two, it's Ombra. Figures I would put this one at number two. This one came out in 2017 and I would call this an amber spicy fragrance. And this one features vanilla, peru balsam, patchouli, tonka beans, incense, musk, and geranium. So it's very, very ambery. It's vanilla, plus it's also balsamic. It's got this beautifully gorgeous balsam note. So the combination of vanilla, balsam, and amber uh, together makes for a beautiful, um, ambery experience. It's got spices. There's a spiciness coming from the geranium. There's also a little spice coming from the incense in here, but light smoky, warm spicy, woody, ambery, aromatic, delicious fragrance. A great, great amber and very, very long, long lasting once again. So Jeroboam Ambra is at number two. And uh, can you guess my number one? 
My number one is uh, the third fragrance I bought in 2015 when these were initially launched, or 2016. These launched in 2015, I should say, this one. This is Insulo. Figures the vanilla goes at number one because I absolutely am uh, head over heels for this kind of a note. And this one to me is mostly vanilla, jasmine, and musk. But there's definitely spices in here. I get a very spicy experience with this vanilla. It's sweet, spicy at the same time, powdery and musky, but it's very, very vanilla, very, very ambery in the dry down and not light woodiness as well. But Insulo is a great, great vanilla fragrance. If you don't know that about this one, do check it out. If you like spicy vanilla fragrances, musky, powdery, ambery, uh, you know, sweet, definitely check out Insulo at number one. So that's the rank list for you, Jeroboam's uh, entire collection of fragrances up to 2022, early 2022. Uh, let me know what you think about this collection and let me know if you've tried Floro, the new fragrance. Also, don't forget to go check out the fragrances over at ZGO. If you're in town, go there in person and just tell them I sent you. Uh, there's a discount code. But if you are not in town, definitely click the link in the info box. But let me know if you're a fan of Jeroboam. Did you know that they are related to Javoy? Uh, I'd like to find out. And if you have some of these fragrances, what are your favorites and how would you rank your list? Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.